So in this video, we'll talk a little bit about what it means for vectors to be parallel to each other. And then we'll do a little problem where we try to identify whether or not the given vectors are in fact parallel to each other. So you know what parallel lines are. Uh, now, the, the one difference between parallel lines and, and vector and parallel vectors is that a vector only travels one direction, a line travels infinitely in both directions. So if you look at this combination of vectors here, we've got vector u, we've got one half times vector u, three times vector u, and negative two times vector u. All four of these vectors are parallel to one another. Uh, these three vectors, the blue, the pink, and the black vector all travel the same direction. So it makes sense to say that they are parallel to each other. This vector travels the complete opposite direction as vector u. But by definition of what it means to, ha to be have vectors being parallel, vectors that travel the same direction or the opposite directions are parallel. So I guess if you think about it this way, if you think about extending vector u out this direction, and that's not a very good way of doing it, maybe I should try this. If you extend vector u, u this direction uh, infinitely the opposite way, this line now if i was able to put the little arrow on the end of this this line is parallel to any of these other lines so ve vectors that travel the same direction or opposite directions are going to be parallel to each other one little property that vectors that have that travel the same or opposite directions are always going to have is that they're going to be scalar multiples of each other and that's kind of supported by what you see within this little batch of vectors that we've been talking about for the past minute or so these vectors are all just the the vector u but being multiplied by different values. So if you can take a vector, multiply it by a number, and generate a new vector, that new vector is parallel to the original vector, regardless of whether it travels the same direction or the opposite direction. So in this problem here, we're asked to determine whether or not the given vectors are parallel to each other. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to kind of test to see whether or not there's a scalar multiple that I can multiply vector A by that generates vector B. So what I'm assuming is I'm assuming that I can, I can take a number, uh, multiply vector A by that number, and generate vector B. If I'm doing that with the x components, remember that when you multiply by a scalar, all you do is you multiply the original component of the first vector uh, by whatever the scalar is to generate the, the new x component. So I'm, I'm thinking, all right, well, this constant c that I don't necessarily know the value of yet, uh, if I'm multiplying this x component by something to generate this x component, I can set up this little equation, or it's, this is simple enough to just do in your head. You know you have to multiply negative 2 by 4 to end up, excuse me, that's not simple enough to do in my head, evidently. You know you need to multiply negative 2 by negative 2 to generate 4. So if these vectors are scalar multiples of each other, uh, to generate the new x component from the initial x component, c would have to be negative 2. We'll do that same testing with the y components. To, gen to go from this y component to this y component, multiply by 2, right? Not multiply by negative 2. These values of c that we came up with are not the same value of c. So there is not one number that we can multiply this vector by that generates this vector. That tells us that they are not scalar multiples of each other, and that tells us they are not parallel. So if you're asked to try to determine whether or not two vectors are parallel, you can just kind of test going from component to component. Do you multiply it by the same value to, to go from the x's to the new x, the, the original x to the new x, the original y to the new y? If it is the same value that you multiply by, yes, they are scalar multiples of each other. Yes, they are parallel to each other. If not, we get the conclusion that we got here.